Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Real Life. I hope you're having a great day. It's always a pleasure to share a new episode with you. Before we start today's episode, a reminder that you have access to our easy-to-use episode map guide, which will link you to all 1,300-plus episodes around the globe. Just click on the map link below, zoom into any part of the planet, click on the blue, red, or orange dot to connect you directly with that episode. The episode title and details will appear on the left side. Click on the blue link and you're on to that vintage reel or video. You may want to zoom in closer as there may be more than one episode clustered together. And a special hello to all our new subscribers. Welcome aboard. I hope to entertain you and pique your interest in obscure and fascinating footage from around the globe and over the past century. This reel will be of special interest to rail fans. The Boston and Maine Railroad was originally chartered in 1835 and became part of what was the Pan Am Railways Network in 1983, most of which was purchased by CSX in 2022. This footage appears to have been captured by someone with almost unfettered access to yards, right of way, and interiors of buildings. Exactly where, I'm uncertain. Though I suspect a keen eye will possibly recognize some of the locations. At the end of 1970, B&M operated 1,515 route miles on 2,481 miles of track, not including the Springfield Terminal. If you enjoyed this and other episodes, please consider supporting this channel as a member. After sourcing a film, it takes between 8 and 16 hours to produce each episode from digitizing, research, writing, voiceover, editing, and final output. Thank you to all my subscribers and members for making this channel a possibility. Don't forget to subscribe, as that's the only way you'll learn of the new episodes being released Fridays and Saturdays. Thank you for helping fill in the blanks on all these episodes. On occasions, I do make mistakes. I mispronounce locations and sometimes overlook some details. I very much appreciate the corrections you share on the comments section. Thanks for not being too hard on me. It's a delight seeing the collaboration among viewers. It's even more meaningful when I learn that a family member or friend is recognized even 50 plus years later. Passenger service was an important part of rail transportation. B&M operated some 23 passenger and commuter trains during its existence.
Long before automation and computers, it took many men to sort out cars in the yards, identifying and tracking them. You'll catch the hump track which briefly features an early automobile service car. Captured some 93 years ago, this unlabeled reel lay long forgotten in a closet of a home on the East Coast until 8 years ago when I acquired it. It's a fascinating look into railway life nearly a century ago. I very much enjoyed it and I hope you will as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be kind, and we'll see you next time on Real Life.